Okay, so Andrew Tate is now out of prison and he's on house arrest. And now that he's out, he's taking some shirtless pictures and he looks very much different than he did before he got arrested. He's gained a significant amount of body fat, but he's also looked like he's gained a significant amount of muscle. So what happened to Andrew Tate during, during lockdown and how did he maintain a lot of his muscle and how did he even potentially, depending on who you ask, end up creating a better physique and gaining muscle? Now in prison, there is no gym equipment because prisoners would probably just use that to actually just fight each other. And that's actually what did happen. I believe in the 1990s, they used to have, they used to have weights in the prison facilities, but people would use them to like fight each other, obviously, because it's like metal and yeah. So no weights in the prison facilities. So you gotta rely a lot on calisthenics and body weight movements. Now in prison, Tate would talk about how he would do basic exercises when he was there. So he would do, I believe it was a 10 kilometer walk, 500 push-ups and I think 500 squats as well. I'll have the tweet up here to confirm that. And this is similar to what they do in the military. They just rely a lot on the basic exercises. They do push-ups, pull-ups, and sit-ups, I believe. And there's like some calisthenics legends like Hannibal for King who do a lot of basic calisthenic movements. So it's like basically dips, pull-ups, leg raises, that sort of stuff is what they tend to focus on with these like traditional rudimentary you know, back to the basics calisthenics athletes. I want to talk specifically about push-ups now because that's what Andrew Tate would fo was focusing on when he was there. Push-ups are a great exercise for the core, the shoulders, the triceps, and of course the chest. It's similar to the bench press in that you're just pushing whatever force is in front of you up. But it is a bit different than the bench press now because the bench press is a lot more, it's a lot easier to load up with a bench press compared to the push-ups. The push-ups, it's very easy for you to get to rep ranges above 30, 40, 50 reps. And this makes it very difficult to actually overload with push-ups. Now, because of the difficulty in overloading, people have assumed now that you can't actually gain muscle with push-ups, but that isn't actually true. No matter what level you are at, you can always gain muscle with push-ups. People usually believe that any rep range between one to five reps is training for strength, and six to 15 is training for hypertrophy, and then 15 plus is endurance. But in reality, one to five is really good for strength. And then anything from five to, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 can actually be really good for hypertrophy as well. There have even been studies that have corroborated this. Basically any rep range can build muscle. Although practically speaking, it is better to work within the rep range of like, you know, seven to 15 reps. I've talked about that in other videos if you're curious. But it is true, right? It is harder to gain muscle at a higher rep range. This is because your muscles are in a much more fatigued state for very long. This makes it very difficult to, to recover and to continuously do a bunch of sets of multiple reps. While your muscles are in a fatigue state, they aren't necessarily in an optimal anabolic state, which makes it very difficult again for you to gain muscle doing like 50 plus reps of push-ups. but it is still possible. Now in prison, Tate likely didn't take every set to 100% failure because if he did, then he, it would take him a very long time. It would take him a much longer time to do that, uh, that, that number of push-ups, especially since he considered he implied at least that he's, he did most of them in the morning. Potentially, he actually did every single one of them in the morning if you read some of his tweets. Now, most people in prison, they're motivated to work out to not look weak so they can protect themselves because prison's a pretty dangerous place because you're around obviously a bunch of criminals. And the added stress from being in a prison-like environment for very long will increase your testosterone. And testosterone is key for keeping you motivated. So that's probably how he's able to do all those push-ups. Although he did do all those push-ups. He did claim he did all those push-ups beforehand, before going to prison. But just for, you know, not Tate specifically I'm talking about here, but prisoners in general, this is how they get buff. They get a extra motivation from testosterone from being in a dangerous environment all the time and then that testosterone would help motivate them to continue working out how many push-ups do you do today i don't really train in the gym too often i do like 500 a thousand push-ups a day andrew tate on the other hand which i said before he was doing a thousand push-ups a day basically before this he's just intrinsically motivated to stay fit to stay healthy because that's just something he believes is something that is good for a man a human to be he didn't feel any pressure from the guards or anything he has he knows kickboxing he probably defend for himself right He's just intrinsically motivated to stay fit because that's just what he believes is the right thing to do as a man. And this is a lesson for all of us. I think we should all take note from Andrew Tate here in that we should all just be motivated to stay fit, to stay healthy, no matter the circumstance, because that's just the right thing to do. Life is a gift and you've been given one life and you should make the most of that life. What helps you keep this life together the best way possible is to stay in shape. One thing that you shouldn't emulate from Andrew Tate though 
is his push-up form because this is just atrocious. I can do 150 in five minutes. Zero, 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 zero. So when you do push-ups, make sure you're going all the way down and all the way up. No half reps. It's the best way to do it to gain maximum results. Make sure you do that. With that being said, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.